This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Chesapeake Eye Center. Summertime on Delmarva, you know what that means, a lot of sun. Now, before you head out to the beach, you likely need to make sure that you have all the necessities, such as a towel, sunscreen, and maybe even a good book, maybe some oil. What you don't want to forget is your shades, your sunglasses. It completes the look. Yeah, but they do a lot more than make you look cool. Sunglasses are essential for protecting your eyes from the harmful rays. And according to the doctors at Chesapeake Eye Center, those rays may do more harm than you might think. Who doesn't love the sun? Each summer, millions of people flock to the local beaches to soak it in. And although it's safe to say most, if not all, know the importance of sunscreen to protect our skin from the harmful rays of the sun, Dr. Todd Bezak suspects a majority don't think about what those same rays can do to their eyes. I don't think they do. I think in, uh, in especially in this area, you know, we live in such an outdoor friendly area. People spend so much time at the beach and um, spend time doing outdoor activities. They don't think about how they should protect themselves. In fact, sun damage is the first thing Dr. Bezak looks for during an eye exam. It's part of a, a routine exam, you know, the, it starts, my exam goes from the outside in. So I start with the skin and then I move into the eyeball itself and move from the front of the eye to the back. So it's part of my screening exam every single time. He says the skin around the eye is some of the thinnest skin on the body. That makes it susceptible to skin cancers. Things like basal cells, um, carcinomas, squamous cell carcinomas, and in its worst form, uh, a melanoma, which is malignant, which can spread to bone and be potentially even fatal. Dr. Bezak says it can even spread to the eyeball itself. And speaking of the eyeball, just like the skin, it too can be burned by the sun, causing a condition known as photokeratitis. The sunburn on the cornea, more often those are with young folk who, who are sun worshipers at the beach a lot. Dr. Bezak says photokeratitis is painful and can cause blurry vision or redness in the eye. Fortunately, in the short term, those things tend to resolve on their own within, you know, a few days, but they are quite painful. Another problem caused by the sun is pterygium, or as it is commonly known, surfer's eye. Which is an overgrowth of the white part of the eye. We typically see this in people who farm or surfers who spend a lot of time outside, or people who live in countries that are close to the equator that have a lot more sun exposure over the course of their life. The overgrowth on the eye can actually cover the cornea, the very center part of the eye, the, the window into the eye, and it, in its worst form can cover it altogether, which would de they could actually lose all their vision from it. Fortunately, there's a surgery where we can remove that. Dangerous UV rays can also contribute to other eye problems not generally associated with the sun, such as cataracts. Cataracts are a fact of life. We all get cataracts. If you live a nice long life, you're going to get them. Um, but someone who's spending a lot of time in the sun, un unprotected time in the sun, the cataract will progress faster, more severe, and will cause blurred vision and could you know, lead to a decrease in the activities of your daily life. And macular degeneration. There has been some studies that link um, excessive sun exposure to a loss of central vision due to the retina actually breaking down in the center part of the eye. And we're going to try these on. Preventing these problems can be done with something as simple as a pair of sunglasses. So I encourage all my patients, my family, my kids to always be wearing sunglasses. And what people don't think about a lot is you, it's easy to remember that in the summer. But it, we're also exposed to the sun in the, in the wintertime. And that includes children. I think it's a trend that, you, and I, we've seen that trend starting, and I think that's a trend that hopefully will continue. I mean, they look good. People look good in sunglasses. They want to wear them, and, and why not get the protective, you know, features out of it? And Dr. Bezak says when buying sunglasses, look for UV protection. He says it's not hard to find. Most sunglasses, even cheap ones, contain it. And if you would like to read more about eye protection from Chesapeake Eye Center, go to our website, wboc.com. Click on our picture at the top of the page. Probably should have started earlier, but I've gotten real good about wearing sunglasses yeah. now. Yeah, I think, I think our, our eyes get a little more sensitive as we get older, yeah. so yeah. there's that. And they look cool, too. Uh -huh. uh, another place where sunglasses can really come in handy is when you're driving. Have you ever found yourself suddenly blinded by glare? It's just like, to me, having a pair of sunglasses that aren't on your face. That is the EasyView XT glare blocker, and it's supposed to be the quick and easy fix. So guess what? We're going to put it to the test. And does your backyard need a quick and easy fix before you invite friends over for a cookout? 
do-it-yourself expert and designer Daniel Grady Fairs joins us with some simple solutions, especially if you're on a tight budget. Delmarva Life will be 